So I'm just going to say this. Maybe it's something that you all already know or something that you have already made a conclusion by yourself. That this Johnson family is just something else. They are people who are morally bankrupt. Starting with Stanley Johnson who broke his wife's nose in a domestic violence incident. And then going ahead to Boris Johnson who faced allegations uh, of racism in his party and also made racist comments. And you know what? He even refused to apologize for the racist comments. And then right now, this Rachel Johnson is also saying some very pathetic things. But all in all, this uh, Johnson family is just a family which is morally bankrupt. It's like they just do things without even thinking the consequences of what they're actually saying or even doing. So before I even go into what Rachel Johnson had to say on LBC, let me just read you what Prince Harry said uh, about Rachel Johnson on his pair. That is when Meghan had actually gotten married to Prince Harry. And Prince Harry wrote that a day or two later, the male weighed in again, this time with an essay by the sister of London's former mayor Boris Johnson, uh, predicting that Meghan would do something genetically to the royal family if there is an issue from her alleged union with Prince Harry, the Windsors will thicken their watery, thin blue blood and Spencer pale skin and ginger hair with some rich and exotic DNA. Sister Johnson's father opined that Meg's mother, Doria, was from the wrong side of the tracks and as Stone Cold proof, she cited Doria's dreadlocks. So this woman called Megan's DNA exotic and then went ahead to say that Doria came from the wrong side of the tracks because she had dreadlocks. And right now, this is the same person who's actually supporting people like Jeremy Clarkson. Already, the comments that she made about Megan and her mother are so much racist, like no one can even deny that. So this woman is a racist person and there is no denying that. So I just want you to listen to what she had to say. I'm sure he's got spicy views that uh, offend lots of people. But we live in a free country as things stand as of 2023. I would like to think that Nigel Farage can bank with coots, just as I would like to think that Jeremy Clarkson is free to express his extremely unsavoury opinions about the Duchess of Sussex. That is the country I, do, I want to be in. I don't want to be in a country where banks and uh, you know newspaper bosses or regulatory authorities sit in judgment in a moral way over us. This is woke capitalism. You know, every time that I hear someone actually say such kind of uh, things, stupid things actually about someone else, I love to think that these people can actually just dish it but they can take it. That is just a fact because would she hold the same opinion if Jeremy Clarkson's views were targeted towards her and the rest of the Johnson clan? Of course she would not. And I think that she is what I refer to as a hypocrite. She knows very well that she'd not take it if Jeremy Clarkson had directed those words at her daughter and her nieces. But right now, because it's Megan, She's very much okay with that. In what world are we actually living in? I think people like her should understand that free speech does not mean hate speech. Because Jeremy Clarkson was saying was filled with so much hate and it was meant to actually make people hate on Megan. It was meant to make um, Megan's life even harder. It was meant to fuel the hatred against Megan. So how is that okay? How is it okay to make people such as Jeremy Clarkson to continue saying such kind of things about women? It's not okay at all. What Jeremy Clarkson said was not an opinion. and It wasn't even an opinion at all. So this woman is trying to say that it's okay if we say that at night I'm unable to sleep as I lie there grinding my teeth and dreaming of the day when Rachel Johnson is made to parade naked 
through the streets of every town in Britain while the crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. Is that what Rachel Johnson is trying to say? Because we know very well that she would not even laugh if, some, if someone said such kind of things about her. But then right now she is condoning uh, such kind of words because it is Megan, the same woman that she has contributed to the vile attacks on her. Thing that I can say is that Rachel Johnson is a nasty and very racist person. I saw somewhere that Rachel Johnson doesn't like to be called unkind, but in this context and even in every other way, I think Rachel Johnson is a very unkind person. She is a hundred percent an unkind person. Just take a look at uh, these quotes by Rachel Johnson saying how when I'm called unkind, that, that really cuts to the quick. You can say anything else that you like about me. Another one, I don't mind be, being called snobbish, a pain, and a social climber, but being called unkind really hurts. And then another one, I'm worried about looking like a bad person when in fact I try to be a good person. I don't like the public image that I've been dressed with and it worries me. You know, she very much likes to be seen as though she is a good person, but then her actions just speak otherwise. She's a very unkind person, a very racist person. Furthermore, what she said about Megan here was just very, very nasty. No one deserves this kind of hatred that Megan has been exposed to. And for Rachel Johnson to say that it was okay for um, Jeremy Clarkson to say such kind of words about Megan, it's not, it's not good at all. No one deserves to be told such kind of things. So I just think that Rachel Johnson uh, being called unkind is, is doing her a favor. I, I like to think that she is actually among the worst people that I have ever seen. That is just a fact. After everything that Megan has been put through, after all the abuse that she has been exposed to, no one should actually be piling on that. Instead, we should be fighting the hatred that has been uh, put on Megan each and every single day. But then if you contribute to that, that makes you a very, very bad person, a person who's filled with hatred and so much jealousy. That, that's just it. And it only speaks of the racist person that you are, considering even the article that she had written about Megan's DNA and her mother. This woman is just vile. That's all that I'm going to say for today. So what's your take on this? Let me know what you think concerning this. And I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing day. Goodbye.